In one of our previous lab walkthroughs, we looked at how we can protect endpoints and devices by simply changing the DNS addresses to use Cisco Umbrella. But what happens if we are trying to do this across an entire organization? Well, usually what we can do, and usually what is recommended is to change the local DNS server because it's often organizations use internal DNS to resolve internal queries and then external queries are forwarded out to the internet from that local DNS server. So instead of using group policies to change or apply DNS settings to individual devices and endpoints, we can simply just use an Active Directory domain controller. Maybe that's acting as a local DNS server and set up forwarding to still get that protection with Cisco Umbrella. So in this lab walkthrough, what we're going to do is we're actually going to re reverse what we did previously by assigning the Cisco Umbrella DNS addresses. And then we're going to configure our local DNS server to which this endpoint will point to and see if we can get the same results. So we'll just quickly remove our Cisco Umbrella DNS here. And we're just going to put in our local DNS server there. And I'm just going to go ahead now and I will apply those settings by pressing OK. And now if we just refresh this page, it should theoretically take us back to a status of not protected. So we'll just refresh this now. And there you go. So you can see now it's telling us that we are not protected with Umbrella. And that's fine. So we're using our local DNS server now so we want to configure that and this is going to save a whole lot of time instead of having to configure devices individually providing they communicate with the local dns server to reach or resolve queries for dns so on our local dns server now what we're going to do is we're just going to configure the cisco umbrella ip addresses as forwarders so that when we look to query externally for DNS, it's going to use the Cisco Umbrella IP addresses. So we'll just go to our DNS manager and we'll right click on our server here and we'll just head down to properties. And if we click on forwarders and edit, we'll add in the IP addresses for Umbrella now. That's one, and when you press enter there, you can see there it's actually picked up the fully qualified domain name or FQDN, and it tells us that it's okay there, and we've got the green tick, so that's great. And what we'll do is we'll add the second one, and there you go, so you can see there that's picked it up as well. So we'll just press okay now, and we'll apply that, and that's how our forward is now configured for our local DNS. So theoretically, when our configured endpoint is querying DNS externally, it's going to use those forwarders that we've just configured now. And we can test that. So we'll just go back to our host. And now back on our host, let's just remove this and let's try again. And there you go. So you can see now, even though we have our host configured to use the local DNS, what you can see there is because it's done a query externally, it's actually found and used those forwarders that we've just configured for our local DNS, which in fact is Cisco Umbrella IP addresses. And therefore we are now considered protected again. So this really just helps us save time rather than, you know, having to go through group policies or other management systems to configure multiple devices if you are using local DNS within your environment.
There's also a cool way to verify that we're secured with Cisco Umbrella and in fact verify the Umbrella organization that we're tied to by using the command prompt as well. So I'll just quickly show you that because this is really useful. So we'll just go to our command prompt. And if we just enter the following config, so nslookup dash type equals txt or text, debug.opendns.com, and we press enter. We get some information back here. So looking at this, first hand it might look like a lot of gobbledygook but there's actually important information here so the first part here we're actually we can actually see the umbrella server that we are reaching so this looks like lon is a london location closest to me we've got some other information here so we've got um organization id here as well so we can actually see my organi organization id we can see our public ip address as well so that's there as well and there's a few other bits and pieces with regards to checking the origin id with uh, regards to policies and stuff so that's just another useful command that you can use just to simply verify things such as your public ip address and actually which organization or which umbrella instance that you are currently tied to as well so that was just a, another way that organizations can look to protect themselves with cisco umbrella for dns layer security using their local DNS as opposed to configuring each device individually or using tools such as group policy to push out configuration changes and we also took a look at this cool little command that we can use on the command prompt just to get more information and validate and verify which umbrella organization we're actually connected to and which umbrella server we're actually talking to as well excellent so now that we've got that down let's move on to the next lesson